Her name was Mackenzie Flippo, and her parents say she was the victim of bullying. Bullying so bad, the 12-year-old decided to take her own life on May 8th. She hung herself. Mackenzie's mother making the discovery. Prior to Mackenzie's death, the sixth grader left behind a trail of messages on social media that show how tortured she was feeling. She was freeing herself from this ongoing bullying by taking this action. Bob Bingle of Corboy and Demetria Law Firm represents Mackenzie's parents and tells me the bullying went on for a year and a half at Pierce School of International Studies. A couple girls in particular uh, that, uh, for instance, uh, in a gym class, running straight at her with a frozen water bottle and hitting her. Uh, there was an uh, incident uh, invo involving uh, chasing her from the schoolyard and putting her up against, a, uh, up against a fence, her face up against a fence. Bingle says McKenzie's parents repeatedly informed school administrators of the incidents. They failed to follow the, the protocols that had been established by the Chicago uh, Board of Education. So today, McKenzie's parents filed a lawsuit naming the Chicago Public School District and its board in the wrongful death of this sixth grader. Shortly after McKenzie's death, CPS launched its own investigation and in September announced there was no credible evidence of bullying. Here at Pierce, parents know the story of McKenzie Flippo well. In fact, they tell me the schools made some changes this school year, instituting a new program dedicated to addressing bullying. I think it's the best uh, thing to do. We need to talk to our kids at home. We need to be involved more with, you know, at school with teachers so, and talk to our uh, kids a lot. 